What's up everyone, this is Tom with RedmondPie.com. Now personally I think it's pretty crazy that WhatsApp isn't available for the iPod and the iPad. So in this one I'm going to be showing you how to actually install and activate WhatsApp on the iPad or an iPod. I just want to very quickly mention that you do actually need an iPhone or have access to one very briefly uh, for this setup process to work. But let's just jump straight in and jump over to my Mac, it works with PC as well. Okay, so once we're uh, on the Mac or PC, uh, there's kind of two steps to this. So uh, the first one is the install of WhatsApp itself. So you're going to want to go to iTunes and uh, you're going to want to go to uh, uh, the App Store section and just type in WhatsApp. You basically need to download the uh, uh, .iap for the WhatsApp. So then just go ahead and click download. Once you've typed in your password, that will begin to download. Uh, I'd imagine that it will be quite quick, depending on your internet speed. Uh, and then just pop up your finder, as you can see here. This is almost downloaded. And what you're going to want to do is click go up in the top right hand corner. The process should be very similar on Windows. Uh, so uh, just kind of follow along. Uh, I will outline some very basic differences on the post on redbandpire.com. That will be linked down below in the description. Uh, so what we're going to going to do is go to home. Uh, you can actually just click on the tab on the side. You go to music, go to iTunes, go to iTunes media, go to uh, mobile applications like here. And as you can see, you get the WhatsApp AP, uh, IAP and uh, just drag that over to your desktop. So we can uh, kind of access it in a second. And now we'll be using a program called iFunbox. So let's just go ahead and uh, open this up. It's basically a um, kind of a file manager for your uh, iPod or iPad. Obviously, you'll need uh, it to be connected via USB. That's the first step. What you're going to want to do is just click on the install app thing right here. You just click install app. Uh, and then just navigate to your desktop. As you can see, click on the IAP, which you, uh, IPA rather. I keep on saying IAP, I don't know why. Uh, but just click on, click on that, click open, and then it will literally just install. And that is the install process uh, once it's done. Anyway, that is the install process done. You will see a small icon on the iPod or iPad once you've done it, but it won't do anything currently because we haven't um, activated it. And we'll, I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, so here's the part where you need somebody's iPhone. You need to download a fresh copy of WhatsApp. That means deleting it if you haven't, uh, sorry, if you've already got it installed. And you want to uh, go ahead and register your uh, the phone number that you want to use on your iPod or your iPad. Just So just register that number uh, and then you'll verify it with a text message or a call, I believe it is. Uh, and once you've done that, you literally just jump back over onto our computer. Okay, so once you've verified your number and set up uh, WhatsApp on the, your iPhone or your friend's iPhone if you've borrowed one. Uh, what you're going to want to do is just go on to uh, plug in the iPhone to iPhone box. So just uh, take out your iPad or iPod and plug in your iPhone. You're going to want to go to user applications. You're going to go to WhatsApp and you're going to copy the uh, library and the documents to your desktop. So literally just copy those two. Uh, they are here as you can see just there uh, and then what we're going to do is then unplug the uh, iPhone and plug back in the iPad or iPod depending on what you're using. The, so the setup process is pretty much exactly the same and then we're going to go into uh, once we got the iPod on, going to go into user applications, open up WhatsApp once again and then replace the two which are already in there. So they should automatically replace, but just to be safe, uh, you can just delete the current, the, the two which are currently in there and then just drag in the two which we have here. So that will just kind of foolproof it uh, just like that. And there we have it guys, a very simple and quick way to uh, access WhatsApp on an iPod or iPad without a jailbreak. As you can see, I have it working here. You may just need to quit out of the app uh, if you're having issues. Uh, but to be honest, it works pretty much flawlessly. I've, uh, as you can see, I've got it installed uh, on both my iPod and my iPad here. There are no issues. I haven't had um, any issues as of yet. You can uh, still use the same phone number, I believe, between the two devices. So yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you've found it useful. If you have, please give this video a like. Subscribe to the Empire YouTube channel if you haven't done already. And I will catch you in the next one.